So around 4.30 in the morning, I was awoken by a consecutive chain of about uh, 10 or 11 large bangs, which you could instantly tell that they were US-backed strikes. Um, due to the nature of the, the missiles landing and the nature of the, the jets in the sky. And I can confirm that it was not just missiles, it was jets and missiles at the, at the same time. And after about five minutes of, of, of attacks and missile strikes, uh, you could hear Syrian air defences, which are stationed near where I am, uh, firing rockets into the sky, S-200s and uh, Shelka, a tracer, tracer fire into the sky as a response to these rockets landing, mm. and the the entire act of, of of aggression, you could you could argue, took about fifty minutes in 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 total, with temporary pauses in between each wave of strikes. What what we do know so far is that three major sites in and around Damascus have been targeted. The first of those is in Berze, which is in East Damascus, and that's a research. A facility and it's a military academy. The second of those is uh, Mezze Military Airport, and that is a the only military airport within the confines of Damascus. And the third strike took place in an area very close to where I am, in Jamraya, which is also a huge complex of uh, of a research facility which was previously targeted by the Israelis in 2014. Right. Now Jamraya is really no clear, uh, near to where I am, so when the rockets landed there. The entire neighborhood shook. My house shook. Uh, the windows were were, sh were shaking for, for several minutes. It was uh, it was almost as if the, the attack was literally on our neighborhood. So from from that perspective, I can confirm that these targets in western Damascus were clearly hit due to the fact that I could hear them literally being down the end of the street. That's how powerful the explosions were.